pregnant mama over here, you guys. See, my stomach is all down. Like, this child is gonna come out anytime, anytime soon. This is me, you guys. This is what I look like. I love the fact that I'm not looking so fat. I'm just, you know, the stomach is just stomaching itself. But I'm not looking so fat. So, guys, we got here yesterday. Wow, I'm seeing a very beautiful house. Like, the view. The view of this person's house is really nice. Let me not even lie. So we got here yesterday. I could not vlog because it was late. I was tired. I just wanted to relax and all of that. So we are here and um, they just got me my complimentary breakfast because I just wanted to ask if they had. And funny enough, they had. So I told them to like bring it upstairs since they could. So I'm just going to show you guys what the breakfast is and all of that. And I might switch this room. Oh. I didn't know you could open this door, you guys. So let me show you guys what... Oh my god, the brightness is increasing. So this room has a balcony. I just saw it now. Like, I literally had no idea that the room had a balcony. But I want to show you guys what the compound looks like, but I feel like I might show you guys another person's compound. Though I'll be changing this room because of the bed they give to me. I don't like the spring bed. With the way I am right now, the spring bed is not giving me what I want. So I think I might change the room to something else because we called them that we wanted to leave and they were like, what's the situation or what's the problem? And we explained to them and they're like, oh, they thought I was going to like the spring bed. That was why they give us spring bed. But my dear, lying on that thing, it feels like I'm sinking inside. And with my stomach, I don't want to be sinking. I want to be afloat. <laughs> But anyway, guys, let me show you guys what I'll be having for breakfast. So today I'm meant to film a video, but I could not come with my hospital bag because of the rush and everything. But let me show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. So, so yeah, you guys, this is my breakfast over here. I'm having yam and eggs, so this is their complimentary breakfast. Let me even make a reference to their food, you guys. I don't know who their chef is, but the person cooks very well. I'm not even gonna lie, whatsoever their chef is, the food is very nice. Yesterday I had okra soup and sniper fish. Like the taste, it was very tasty. And then I went ahead and I had um, pepper chicken. That was a late night food. That was just me being a pregnant woman, a pre good that I am. So I went ahead to have their late night food and their pepper chicken was very, very nice. Like if there's anything I feel like if I should leave this place I'm going to miss is the pepper, is their food. Wherever their chef is, they're really trying. Their food are amazing. And you guys know me, I'm a sucker for food, but not that kind of sucker, like a foodie, but I love cooking. So when I taste something that tastes very nice, I always, always recommend. So the food tastes very, very nice. I think I might tell you guys the name of this hotel right now. I'm not even familiar with the name like that because I came in very late. So I might check their menu over there and see what we have. But you guys, right now, I just want to eat. I want to So I just finished eating and I feel like I have energy now to talk, okay? This 37 weeks mama is going through a lot, but I feel like I just need to take a rest. Lying down these days, this child is on my leg, so it's actually taking a whole lot from me to lie down, sit down, like to, to be able to find a comfortable position. I won't even lie, it's taking a lot from me. Uh, since we're no longer changing, the hotel, we are only changing the room. That will be way better than I can go check out the other room because they say they have different rooms with different type of bed. They just felt probably I might like this one and also I'll go check the next room they have. But for now, I just want to rest, okay? I have tried. I've been having flu, like I had malaria last week from Thursday because today is Saturday. From the Easter break, I've been having malaria till this day, like till this very day. I've been having malaria. I haven't gotten myself, but I took injection and I got myself back after the injection, but the flu still doesn't want to leave me. And I think my immune system is down according to what I heard. Like the child literally 
has gotten to that stage where my immune system is down and I can't really take much. I feel like I'm talking from my nose, but please <laughs> just help me out on this one. So I can't really take much. So yeah, basically that's it. I can't take too much medication. I just have to take very little. Alpha. I do. You do? What's in the happen? Oh boy. Why the shot I did, I did like that. What's happen? <laughs> That's what comes with being an adult. Life as an adult comes with bills, you know. Oh boy. I wanted to go for brightening facials, but I just changed my mind. Okay. How much? 15. Oh, big auntie, my rich auntie. I'm not going, you know, you hear me. Make I see you know go go you go go go. No worry. You go see fine way go. Daily brightness. The only auntie I know, I be the only girl I know where they take her face serious past her career. <laughs> she need the skin like butterscotch. Issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text Or I'll come off desperate What if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Hey guys, so my mic is actually low And 
Do you know the funniest part? I didn't come with a charger. For some reason, I don't even know why. But I'm done eating. I'm feeling tired. I kind of like this chair. It feels like a um, Big Brother Diary Room chair. See? The head. And then see the way the down is. So I'm just sitting down here, like, waiting for my food to digest. And I think after that, I'm just going to make some videos and take a nap. Yeah, because it's still afternoon. So probably later in the day, I might just, like, stroll around to get to see the view of the place and all of that. I don't even know how I didn't come with my mic charger now it's showing like it's blinking if you're looking at it you're seeing the blue light blinking over there and the food was actually nice the food was even bigger than the previous hotel we were so the food is nice the size of the food is very okay it is um a little bit cheaper than the other one but the room price they are not the same yeah i think this is genesis revenant or something revenant something like that yeah it's just a jerry here so Though the room is fine, I like the way the room is looking, and I like the very few aesthetic. But then the whole colors is very okay, the ash and the white and wooden stuff going around it. The wardrobe and every other cabinet in it is the same color. I showed you guys the bathroom. And then this wall frames that they have, this picture frame, is really nice. It kind of brings back some childhood memory some kind of play like there's one i'm saying just right here in front of me you know when you were younger and you were playing with wheels you use um stick and you'll be hitting the wheels like tire kind of thing yeah there's one there and it's very very nice but yeah guys that's just the update of the whole place so we're just gonna chill you know because the next time you're gonna be seeing we're gonna be having a staycation like this you probably won't be two anymore it'll be like three you guys if i'm talking slow Lee, please pardon it's the stress i'm going through let me just give you guys a little bit of what's going on with me the child feels like it's on my leg and um, it's gonna come out anytime soon and i've been having shortness of breath for a while like i keep on panting as if i'm doing one major work when i'm literally not doing nothing and i asked my doctor he said the yeah that um the diaphragm the uterus is actually blocking the diaphragm in a way that I can't breathe so much because there's a child inside of me. So that's what's giving me the shortness of breath. So many explanations that at the end of the day, I just got the point that that's why I'm having the shortness of breath. Right now, I feel like I need a marathon race when I actually did not do anything. And it's also making me to like have this pregnancy brain. You know that thing they say that when you're pregnant, um, it's as if you start forgetting things. My own is as if, um, the thing just keep my mind forgetting is like you can't remember but my own is if i meant to do this thing and i don't do it immediately it just keep my mind and then later it comes back again so anytime i just know oh i want to do something i just try to do everything clean it up all at once so that i don't have to bother in case i uh, it skips my mind and then i'm back to it and then you ask me like if you ask me now where did you drop this i'll say just give me a while let me process because my brain is trying to process what's going on, okay? But I'm super, super excited. According to my doctor, he said I've have um, I've had a very smooth pregnancy journey. No stress. Like I'm one of those women that haven't gone through a lot of pregnancy stress. So he would tell me that um, God's grace is really with me, and I was laughing and say, yeah, everything is all God's grace at the end of the day because His grace is so sufficient. Uh, all you have to do is just tell him thank you because it's not by your power, it's not by your mind. There are so many people's stories that are very different, but mine has been smoothly or by God's grace all the way. And I'm super, super grateful. Though the part I'm loving the most is the fact that I'm not looking like what I am versus or what's your dad versus what you got. I don't know why I keep on saying that thing like all chubby and all fat. My size 10 and my size 12. My size haven't added so much and that's because when i found out i was pregnant i started watching what i was eating i did pay attention to what i was eating i try not to eat so much it was um during the third trimester i started eating so much like the second trimester i started having this um little little heartburn and when it happens it just makes me not want to eat because it's very very uncomfortable so what i do back then is try not to eat anything drink more of liquid or take more of liquid and just relax and now that the baby is close by i've started taking um lifting in the morning 
since I already know the size of the child, which is um 3.1, I'm trying to like maintain it like I told you guys earlier. So I started taking lifting dates and now I want to start taking pineapple because we are going to 38 weeks. Though my doctor keep on saying that he's betting his salary on me giving birth at 38 weeks, but we're heading to 38 weeks. So the earlier I start doing something about it, the better for me so that the child can just come out. I know the child is already like down, down there. Like, since the child is already down there, the child can come out, like, today, tomorrow. I already packed my hospital bag. I wish I had come with it. I would have shown you guys everything. But by God's grace, if I'm able to, I will still make the video of what's in my hospital bag. Just maybe one or two things missing that I haven't gotten yet. But I think every other thing is there. I didn't show you guys my baby bed. I'm going to show you guys. We got the baby bed, the baby car seat, and also the baby rocker, like... We have a whole lot of unboxing to do, but I feel like I have limited time to do the unboxing. So maybe if it happens that the baby doesn't come before, maybe in two days, then I will do the video. But if I'm unable to, then probably do the unboxing when the child comes. So yeah. And one tip I want to give you guys, if you're a first time mom and um, maybe you just found out you're pregnant and you're trying to look good and still not get chubby is try to do a skincare routine for yourself it will really help because it really helped me if you're looking at my nose it's not looking like umbrella that is open that you can see underneath it so i i don't know if i've shared this with you guys my facial routine the way i massage my face like from beginning of my pregnancy till now and it really did help me if not i would have been getting double chin on that hair like if you see my previous video of um my wedding time, I look much chubbier compared to now. They are not the same thing. But well, now I'm actually double and I don't look so much chubby like when I was just alone, like not pregnant and all of that. So, you guys, take care of um, yourself. If you know you find out you're pregnant, your skin routine, skincare routine, you really need to be serious about it. Like I can remember a couple of days I didn't pay so much attention to myself because I was just you know, tired, because there are times when you get tired along the line, but then I still try to motivate myself, because at the end of the day, I know it's my body, so whatever I do now, postpartum will either be easier or more stressful, that's one thing that motivates me, I always tell myself, whatever I'm doing right now, the end product is after you give birth to the child, what's going to happen to you, okay, do I hear a whole lot of things about people having depression and all of that, but try to pay attention to yourself when you can, or during this process, it will help you to heal faster when you give birth because even my doctor keep on saying jenna you don't look like you're pregnant you just look so very okay like you're not adding so much and all of that so try to pay more attention to yourself and pay more attention to the child and don't give up on yourself it can be very tiring trust me it can be exhausting as well but the fact that you know that um you're bringing a child to this world and it's your first time you're being a first time mom you want to do better you owe it to yourself to be a better person as well so why not try to be a better person for yourself and why not put everything it takes or do whatever it takes to give yourself that love and care you deserve because many of times you might not get it if you're expecting it from people but when you treat yourself that way and um, tell yourself you deserve better then it will be a lot easier for you but anyway guys i feel like i've been talking for so much <laughs> i'm just gonna take a nap for a while and relax a bit before I do any other thing. I don't know if I can still film the video I want to film today. Let's see how it goes. If I can, I think I will just do it now. Or if not, it's probably tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to be leaving this place and going back home. It's just a weekend staycation, not really um, a major thing, but I'm super excited for the fact that I left the house, new environment for a while because I've been indoors for like ever since. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later.
Hey guys, good morning. Okay, hey guys, good morning. Say, so, I just finished filming a video, like, everywhere is literally scattered. I can't even, I can't even tell you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pure. So, I don't have one. But pure heaven doesn't have alcohol mm -hmm. inside of it. So you guys, I just finished filming an Instagram reel. Hey guys, so my mic is actually down and I'm trying as much as possible to like, you know, talk before the mic goes off. So we are about leaving this place. We've packed up our things. I was filming a reel, so I kind of scattered the room upside down. I literally don't have much to pack since it was just a two day staycation. And then it was an opportunity for us to like, you know, spend time together as a family of two before the baby comes in because the next time we'll be going out like this will be a family of three that's going for a vacation a proper vacation and all of that so i'm super excited i'm actually happy that i did this because it made me feel a bit relieved coming out from my house coming out from my comfort zone and just taking that break alone time with hobby and no work no you know no extra thing just no bother not bothering what I will eat or who prepare food for me. I just have to place order for what I want and just enjoy the process, which is very nice. So I was able to film a reel in this place. And right now I just want to pack up and all of that. And I think that this panting now has become a norm until I give birth. I guess that's when I'll feel back myself or that's when I'll feel myself again. But you guys, I wanted to do a... I wanted to show you guys how I take care of my skin, like my face, um, my face and massage routine. But I could not do that because the bathroom light is not so bright. So I realized that since I didn't come with, with an external light, I won't be able to do that. So maybe if you're interested in it, let me know in the comment section. I might do that at home. Maybe I can make it as a reel to show you guys how I maintain my face from getting very fat and my nose looking like... You know what I mean, okay? Let me know in the comment section because I, 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 I didn't massage my face so much this morning, but I did a little because anytime I eat noodles, my face tends to bloat. But looking at it right now, it doesn't look like it's bloating so much. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if you're interested. And I'm here with my pure heaven, trying to, you know, keep the vibe. Since I'm not allowed to drink alcohol, I know I can have, I still have red wine. I'm a, my brand is red wine, I'm a fan of red wine. Anything red wine. I prefer red wine to champagne and all of that. Except maybe I'm in that setting where I have to take, you know, champagne. But anyway, guys, I'm still having the flu. It hasn't disappeared. I'm just going to pack up everything we have here. At this stage, I said I'm not supposed to drink something cold. And I'm trying so hard. And it's very hard. And I'm wondering if just for one week I can't drink something cold. Then when I want to do the Omogo process... How do I maintain that heat of drinking hot, 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 hot? Like, so when you're um, doing your postpartum stage, you have to be taking everything, hot tea, hot alcohol, like the alcohol syrup I want to take. I already mixed it. I think you mix uda, ginger, this loca, um spices, a bit loca, um native, yes, this native spices that is good for pregnant women. Um, postpartum women so i already mixed it and i already poured um kai kai if you know kai kai which is pure ethanol inside of it and you allow it to stay some people say it's when you give birth some people say you can do it before that time and when you do it before that time you get to you know brew longer and then you get to work very well compared to when you just give birth and then you're brewing it so uh, it's already like one week already i say by the time this thing will be done and me I'm, i've given birth it will be very very bitter the other day i gave it to my husband to test and he's like this shit is bitter and i'm like at this stage it's bitter then imagine when i give birth what i'm going to do or how it will taste in my mouth but anyway i'm super excited i think i'll pack up before my husband comes and say you are still filming you've not packed your bag you want them to come and chase you out of here so you guys see the room it's still scattered everywhere is still a bit scattered here yeah. That's the door over there. Everybody is still scattered. The bed is scattered behind me. See my diary room chair, which I was telling you guys about. Yep, I kind of love this place. I love, I love the fact that 
it's not so big but the setup is very very nice like they arrange the place very very well so that's one thing i know i like about this whole place like the setup is really nice and it's conducive for anybody guys i need to pack everything inside this fridge that we bought to this place we literally bought knife and spoon because we bought knife and plate rather because we bought popo so right now i have to pack everything i have to pack them and put inside the bag I think I'm done packing because I didn't really pack so much. So this is my bag. I already carried my child. It's final stage rain. I'm already done. Like mama, it's gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby very soon. Over here. Sure. My stomach doesn't have shape these days because this child is always tilting forward, backward, left, right, and center. Pregnancy has been a whole lot more. I'm really grateful to God. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really grateful to God. And thank you guys so much. I know I wasn't uploading early enough, but thank you so much for coming through with me or through this journey. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the support. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys a lot. Yeah, this is the exit. Oh my god. Hey guys, so I'm outside. Oh, I'm inside the car now. Let me increase this. Hey guys, so we're ready to go. I just put my mic here. I hope it doesn't go off here. So we're ready to go. I'm outside waiting for Hobby to like clear the payment. I don't even know what they are clearing for because we literally paid for everything with our card. Okay, the young man is here already. So I'll see you guys. We will go home. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Killing me softly with these wounds. Mm -hmm.